If you're a Procreate brush hoarder like me, then something that comes with that territory is drowning in a sea of brushes. I imagine that a lot of you know exactly what I mean. There's nothing wrong with grabbing a good brush set when you see one or downloading a great freebie, but something that happens as a result is they start to pile up and you have brushes that are perfect for what you need, but you can't find them because they're drowned in a sea of other brushes that are completely pointless and you have absolutely no use for. And there's no way to search for brushes, unfortunately, in Procreate's brush panel. So it's down to your own organization skills to keep things tidy. So that all sounds good in theory but if you're like me I just haven't had the chance to do it yet but I'm proposing we do it today together so let's make some time and actually bring some order back into this chaos. So I've got three top tips I'm going to share with you and we're going to take 15-20 minutes to just organize our brush library it's going to save you a ton of time in the long run so let's take a look at some organization tips I've put together and regain some control over your brush library. So we're here in Procreate now. To get your brushes, you just tap on the brush icon in the top there. Something I would recommend is to make sure that all your actual Procreate default brushes are grouped together at the top. You'll be able to identify these by the bespoke icon. So anything that's been imported or a custom brush will have this little swoosh kind of icon. Procreate brush sets have these individual icons. So I would make sure that they're grouped at the top all together. They are by default, so yours might be that way. But if over time they've sort of moved throughout, then you can just hold and and drag to move their position and just put them all at the top. So that's the first thing I'd recommend. But step one, do a clear out. So basically go through and look at these brushes. Do you need all of them? If there's any that you can remove, that is the best place to start because getting it down to a manageable number will help you find the ones that you really like. So I'm asking you to really Marie Kondo them. You know, if they don't spark joy, you know what to do. Now, if you do want to delete some sets, basically you just tap on them and you've got the option to delete. But before you do, it is probably a good idea to make sure that you have a backup of them because you might come to need them down the line. So in order to do that, you just tap on share and you'll see you get the export screen and you can save to files and just tap either iCloud or Dropbox, create a folder in there for your Procreate backup brushes and just choose save. And then you'll just simply save that brush set in there that you can come back to at any time. So be really ruthless, get that down to a manageable number. Now, you might find as well as you go through this imported set, that's important to keep because this is where any of your single individual brushes will be imported to. So make sure you keep that somewhere you know where to find it. So step number two is to create some categories. So think through what styles do you usually use? So if you're using a lot of lettering, you can group that together. So what we're gonna do is create a brush set by scrolling down, you'll reveal this little icon, we just tap that there, and then come in and open your keyboard. Now I'm going to start by two dashes here and a space, and then I'm going to choose an icon. And I know there's some little uh, calligraphy icons at the back here. So these are the emojis. I'm going to choose that calligraphy pen there and I'll call this lettering. These have nothing in them. They're simply to divide the categories. So now I'm going to bring that and that's going to be fairly high up my list because that's something I use a lot. So I'm going to bring that under my Procreate grouped items. So then I'm going to move all my lettering brushes into that area. So go through your set list and just tap on the set to move it and move that into your lettering area. So then you've got that grouped all together. So once you've done that, you can then go through the rest of your brushes and itemize those as well into categories. Okay, so as you can see now I've got some good categories and I can see them clearly from the emoji and the little dash. So I've got watercolour, I chose textured, I've got all my textured brushes grouped together, inking and then stamps and motifs. So they're sort of individual stamps that stamp on the screen. So you can choose whatever categories you like but I just recommend to categorise them so that they're all grouped together and you know exactly where to go when you need to find a particular brush. The other thing I want to mention as well is it's great idea to have a favorites folder. So I've distinguished this just by a little star and called it favorites and put it towards the top as well. So any brushes that you use a lot, I would recommend keeping the duplicate copy in your favorites 
folder. So basically you just slide and duplicate and then move that and drop it into there and then that's put that into your favorite set. And that's just so that you can easily access any. I created a duplicate though because I didn't want to actually move its location entirely because there might be a time where I need that set as a whole and you know at least you know where you've got it where it's come from um, so it's a good idea to just make a duplicate if you're going to move it out of that category another category you might like to have as well is custom brushes so anything that you've edited or changed you could keep within a custom section so things are looking so much tidier now I can easily see and find where my brushes are so for tip number three I want to show you how you can bulk save your brushes. So I have heard of so many people that have lost all their Procreate files, all their Procreate brushes through some sort of mishap. So I wanna make sure that while, while we're doing this, this is a really good opportunity to make sure you have a backup of your brushes. If you just scroll from the bottom of your screen, you'll find this little dock, and I can then move the files icon so that files app is next to Procreate like this. So I'm in um, Dropbox at the moment and I've got my Procreate Resources folder and I've got a folder called Backups in here. So you can create a new folder and you can just organize it exactly how you'd like. So now for my brushes, I'm just gonna hold down on a set and drag it to the right. And now that's backing up that brush set. So that's great. And that's something that you can do one at a time like that if you like. And that's taking that whole brush set as one file. So something else I wanna show you though, is if you wanted to do this a little bit faster, you can pull out your brush set and also add to it. So now you can see the number increasing. That's because I've now grabbed four brush sets at one time. I'm gonna drop that to the right and now that's uploading those brush sets. So that's backing those up. I wouldn't do like 10 at a time because you do need the system to sort of keep up and it can sometimes struggle if you do too many, but it just allows you to do three or four at the same time. Excellent, when you finish, you can just grab off the screen. So pull that back into just the full Procreate interface and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and it helped you get a little bit more organized with your brushes so that you can find things and maybe discover some old favorites. Thanks for joining me and see you next time. Before you go, I've got something really special I want to share with you. If you would like to access over 25 free resources for Procreate, simply sign up to the iPad Calligraphy newsletter using the link below this video in the description. You'll find free lettering brushes, artistic brushes, glitter textures, paint textures, ruler templates, color palettes, calligraphy guides, and loads more. So click on the link in the description for access and grab it now.